In the winter of 1978, the Dam were set to play three shows in Scotland beginning on December 13th, but they had a problem. Their lead singer and frontman, David Vanian, disappeared and nobody could get a hold of him. The rest of the band, guitarist Captain Sensible, bassist Algie Ward, and drummer Rat Scabies, did not want to lose out on three paydays, took a vote, and decided to hire a new singer on short notice. Rat Scabies got a hold of a phone number for Gary Holton, the former singer of the Heavy Metal Kids. Rat spoke about hiring Gary. We just rang him up and I said, what are you doing? Do you want to make some money? Then come and sing with us and do these shows. Gary agreed, but only knew a couple of the band's songs and was unfamiliar with their music, but he told the band that he would learn the lyrics on their long ride to Scotland. Captain Sensible had this to say about the hiring of Gary Holton. After some haggling over his fee on the phone, he said yeah, and thus we all found ourselves in a car heading for the M1, which we arrived at via an off-license where he purchased a bottle of Remy Martin which got in the way of him learning the songs in route as he passed out within minutes of finishing the entire bottle. The band was still being billed as The Doomed due to a lawsuit with their former bandmate and co-founder, guitarist Brian James. The promoters of the three Scotland shows were afraid of people asking for the money back due to the disappearance of Dave Vanian and having to hire a lead singer on short notice, so they called the group Nightmares in the Dark on a couple of their shows. Rat said, we got there and I remember Captain telling the audience that Dave Vanian had been killed in a car crash and Gary had kindly stepped in and because he didn't know any of the songs and didn't have time to learn all the lyrics. Gary could only remember some of the lyrics to the band's set list when they arrived for their first show at Ruffles in Aberdeen. They played a song he covered, She's No Angel, when he was with the Heavy Metal Kids, and a couple of Beatles songs, Help and Day Tripper, along with a cover of Sweet's Bomb Room Blitz, and Captain Sensible's cover of Jet Boy, Jet Girl, which was part of the set list as well. But he had a really hard time with the damn zone songs like Teenage Dream, Burglar, Problem Child, and Stretcher Case Baby, but he didn't know the lyrics to stab your back. He hummed the songs he couldn't remember the lyrics to, while the fans in the audience in unison sang along to them. Rat said, most of the time, he was just going wah, 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 wah through all the songs and the audience really hated it. Their second show took place at the College of Art in Dundee on December 14th. The final show took place at Clouds in Edinburgh, which was billed as the Dooms Christmas Party. The show at the Clouds turned out to be a nightmare for Gary when the crowd turned on him and wanted to beat him up. Captain Sensible said, Gary was forced to sing the lyrics to the only damn song he knew, Stab Your Back, for every tune on the set list, which didn't go down great with the fans, if I recall correctly. Captain Algy and Rat paid Gary back for his services for being the lead singer for the band by shaving off his eyebrows when he passed out on the ride back home. David Vanian would show up a few days later and rejoin his bandmates, ending Gary Holton's tenure in The Damned. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Cuppy's Music Curios. My name is Cuppy, and I hope to see you soon. Cheerio!